Can you keep a secret? So today, we're taking G-Man to Chesington to see Santa. He has no idea that we're going. We're also staying overnight in the hotel, which he also has no idea about. So, shh, don't tell him. Come and join us on our adventures as we go and check out Winter's Tale at Chessington. What'd you say? Breakfast with JK Kelly what morning, do you think? This, this morning yeah. we've got your chance to win one thousand pounds. How do you feel about that? Surprise! We are the right on Monday when you some 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 a little one. Yeah. Yeah. And vamp vampire. Sadly, vampire isn't this time. But we can see, go see Santa. Yep, and Elf has got into the Yeah, Santa's here. He told me it was free today. Yeah. So we're going to see Santa. What the word is? Have a listen. Yeah. I think he's excited. Come on. Here we are, guys. Chessington World of Adventures. Winter's Tale. What is it? Elijah, what is it? Is it a lion? Come on, let's go find Santa. Gee, let's see a jumper. Hey. Got his winter's tail jumper on. So, uh, Chesington um, had to announce, unfortunately, a, a reduction in the number of rides available for uh, Winter's Tale this year. Vampire sadly suffered a mechanical failure on the uh, extra pass holder day in November, and as far as I know, still hasn't been repaired. Um, and uh, the Gruffalo is uh, undergoing some serious maintenance this winter, so that's not open either. But we are here to see Santa, so we'll be finding Santa and reindeer and everything else Christmassy that we can, and just enjoying our family day here at Chesington. Elijah is completely overwhelmed by all the decorations and everything here at Winter's Tale. Already a hit with him. So uh, Karen's just asking the elves if uh, we can uh, get Santa to announce um, that uh, we're staying in the hotel this evening. So. Hopefully, he'll, uh, he'll play along. Just coming up to uh, Father Christmas's toy workshop here. We'll be uh, popping to see Santa later and then uh, into the toy workshop to get a gift. Wow, look at that tree! <laughs> oh, look, there's a big ball. Bobo. Oh, Donut shops proving popular early. 
probably a hot chocolate uh, dispensary. We've got uh, shows, the wild carol singers, adventure point party. Sounds absolutely awesome. Check those out later. That toilet floor is a bit slippy. That's a case for elf and safety. Before we do any rides, I thought we'd probably have a quick look in the gift shop. See what uh, Winter's Tale merchandise is available this year. Oh wow, look at that tree. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, maybe next uh, next season. Oh wow. Look at the Christmas jumpers. Intrigued to see, and that's a bit disappointing. The updated uh, Winter's Tail jumpers are literally just Winter's Tail written on the front of a jumper compared to last year's, that were totally logoed. However, we have got this, which I am very, very tempted with, shall we say. Yeah, that might be have to come back and buy. <clears throat> yeah. That one wouldn't, no, because that's age three to four. Yeah. <clears throat> it is, look at the coat hanger. Yeah. Let's have a look down here. See so what else they've got down here. Yeah. That's a seven to eight. Okay. Oh look. There's a winter's tail mug as well. <coughs> look guys. <coughs> We've got a winter's tail mug. That may also have to go on to uh, my uh, letter to Santa. Daddy. Yes. When I'm older, yeah. You want a crock drop bottle when you're older? Well, you have to wait and see next season. I don't think they're going to stop doing them all of a sudden, so. Then don't have it. Some winter's tail pin badges, but they're in the obsolete pin badges section, so. I think that was Wilder Fest. We didn't come to Wilder Fest this year. Come on then, let's go. Some uh, Winter's Tail scarves and a Winter's Tail. You have got the back of Vampire scarf, haven't you? And Winter's Tail pom pom hat. Which is very cool. See about one of those. Yeah, not a bad selection of merchandise for uh, Winter's Tale this year. It was only a Winter's Tale, just another Winter's Tale. No trips complete without a trip to the sweet shop. Oh, what's Bug Bug got? What have you got, Elijah? Elijah, what have you got? Ooh. Snap, snap. 
Gabriel's going for the pick and mix. G, what ride are we going to do first? Sea Storm. Sea first? Okie dokie. I saw three ships come sailing in, come sailing in. There's a Christmas song, isn't it, that goes like that? Except I can't remember it. So we've uh, <laughs> had to make a slight change of plans. We're now going to head over to Jungle Bus um, because a number of rides are experiencing weather related issues, um, including Blue Barnacle, Sea Storm. Um, just to name two and um, hopefully with the sun shining the way it is we, they will uh, defrost and open up Elmer's Flying Jumbos here is open and currently has a 30 minute queue and um, obviously very popular with the little ones who are here today so yeah we'll uh, make our way around to Jungle Bus But of the rides available at the moment, about 50% are down for weather. So. Yeah. That's the uh, festive food offering. Lovely decorations around the park as well. Really, really nice. Got marshmallows. I can smell chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I am going to keep singing all day, so uh, be prepared. Ah, oh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream's not open. I can't imagine why. Through this way, we've got to the, uh, the magical Christmas kitchen, where we'll be going later on to make our uh, cookies. Um, oh, I love this walkthrough, I remember it from last year. Last year they had uh, fake snow machines hidden in the trees. Oh, they've got them again this year. Oh, there we go, look. <laughs> and every so often they go off and just spray like a foam into the, uh, into the area, it's great. Can't wait to come back through here later on when it's uh, when it's darker and we can see all the lights fully. But uh, they really do make a real effort with their lights here, as you would expect from Chesington. Magical Christmas kitchen this way. All looks very very different. Main entrance over there. Look. <coughs> We'll, uh, we'll take a walk through later on and uh, we're going to have a look at Jumanji. Oh <laughs> look at that. Our first uh, views that of the uh, Jumanji tracks. They built the cobra. Yeah, there's a cobra in there, isn't there? That's awesome. There's a cobra over in the background there. And then. Looking pretty amazing. It's really, really coming on actually. We were here not that long ago for Halloween and uh, none of this was up then. So this has all happened since the end of October. So that's, they're really, really cracking on with this now. Sadly, we can't get down past there to get a better view down there. But uh, yeah, Jumanji World is uh, definitely taking shape. Elijah, what is it? Is it a nutcracker? Wow. <laughs> Elijah's absolutely loving the decorations. Elijah? Elijah, you do Home Alone face. Do Home Alone face. Ha, 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 ha.
one of the few rides that is open at the moment is uh, Jungle Bus, um, which has been renovated and reinstated as part of the uh, ride offerings here at Chessington. And I'm sure they're very grateful today that it actually was because, uh, as I said, there's uh, some issues with uh, rides not being able to operate just yet because of the uh, freezing cold temperatures. But uh, Jungle Bus is proving weather resistant. So, G's got his first ride of the day on Jungle Bus. called Jingle Bus. Jingle Bus, Jingle Bus, Jingle all the way. Blue Barnacles open now. Fab. Blue Barnacles open, yay! <laughs> it's not what you know, it's who you know. No, he's happy now. He's got a ride, he's happy. Look at that little face. I think he forgot that uh, you get a little bit of air time on Jungle Bus. Jingle Bus, Jingle Bus, Jingle all the way. Right, so you remember the old Jungle Bus? Yeah. How does the new one compare? Is it good, better? Better. Is it better? Because la, la, the old jungle bus didn't um, do this um, and stop. Okay. And then go. Oh, so they put a new feature in it? Yeah, so it stopped. Yeah, and then it went the other way. And, and then, then it, it went back the other way around. Ah, okay. So, so the new one's better. There we go. The new improved jungle bus is better. So we're just going to go into uh, the magical kitchen and make our cookies. Um, do a little bit of a walk through there. I wonder if you get helped, or is it elf service? She's charging off at the thought of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> this boy and food. <laughs> Gingerbread. Oh wow, look at the theming in here. <laughs> Elijah's very excited by the decorations in here. Christmas kitchen. My name is Elf Ginger and I'm in 
of all the recipe books that live here in the kitchen now, you can probably see. I've got a lot of recipes, and guess what? I wrote every single one of them all by myself. So I know quite a lot about cooking and baking now. Have I got anybody in front of me that likes cookies? I do, oh, I hope so, because this is the cooking kitchen. You're in the right place now. I need help choosing a recipe that we're going to make together today. So, can you tell me what you think about a cabbage cookie? Oh, for you. Thank okay. You <laughs> well, have think then. How about Brussels sprout cookie? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> one more option. I hope you're going to like this one. What about a Father Christmas cookie? Yeah? Oh, that sounds better, doesn't it? No vegetables in the Father Christmas cookie. I think you might like that one more. Good choice, everybody. Right, now you've made your decision. Do you want to head on over there to Elf Nut and Meg and you tell him what Christmas cookies you're going to want to make? Hope he makes some really nice for you, everyone. Hello, hello. Come on over, everybody. Now, I heard you picked a recipe for me. Is that right? There we go. Well, I'm the ingredients elf, so I'm going to put all your ingredients together to make your cookies. So, did you choose the sprout cookies today? No? Are you sure? Look, I've got loads of sprouts right here for you. Do you like the look of that? No? Okay, maybe not then. But did you pick the Father Christmas cookies then? Oh, that is a good choice, because I have added your flour, your sugar, and your sprinkles into your bowl to start your cookie dough. But I need some help adding some sparkle to it. Do you think you can help me with some sparkle? Very good. Well, if you've got some sparkle on you today, I need you to wiggle your fingers like this. And we are going to throw the sparkle at the bowl after three, starting with our red sparkle. Here we go. One, two, three. Red sparkle at the bowl. Very nice. And now, time for the green sparkle, everybody. Wiggle those fingers. And one, two, three. Three green sparkle at the bowl, and finally the gold sparkle. This is the big one, so it needs everybody to turn around. Hello, everybody. And everybody to touch their heads, their shoulders, their knees, their toes, their knees, their toes, their knees, their toes, their knees. Their toes. How long are you going to do that for? I was just to keep you warm because I know it's very cold today. And your knees, and your toes. And through the gold sparkle into the bowl, everybody go. We've forgotten about that, haven't we? There you go. I think your cookie dough is ready to be baked. What do we think? Yeah, so I'm going to send you over to my friend Elf Mittens, who is giving you a big wave over there. And we're going to put it in the oven. Thank you very much for your help, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I can't wait to see your cookies. Are you excited to see your cookies? Are you really, really excited to see your cookies? Say what I'm more excited for. I'm more excited for eating your cookies. Because that's the best part, isn't it? Are you excited to eat your cookies? That is the best bit, is eating all the lovely, yummy cookies. I think they might be ready. Do you think they're ready? Do you guys think they're ready? If you think they're ready, can I get a really big drum roll, please? And your cookies are... Ready! I think they're a little bit more than ready. Um, 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 I think I left them in a bit too long. Oh dear, I'm so sorry guys. You all put so much effort into these cookies and well, I've ruined them. Oh dear. Let me think what we can do. Um, I know, if you guys all go to visit Elf Butterscotch, she's really, really good at fixing problems. So I think she might have some ideas of what to do to help you out. I'll stay here and work out what to do with the uh, the mess in there. <laughs> if you guys want to head over to Elf Butterscotch for me. Goodbye everyone. Bye. You guys don't look very happy. Come coming in. You guys don't look very happy. What happened? Something happened to your cookies. What happened to them? Can anyone tell me? Elf, she does this all the time. This is why we always make spares. Would you guys still like a Christmas cookie? Yeah. Oh, go on then. Since you all worked so hard. And can I ask a question before you all disappear? Do you think that your adults would be good today as well? Yeah, do you think that since it's Christmas they deserve a cookie as well? We have Oh, well, how can I say no to that? No, I think they have so many.
Thank you very Thank much. You. Wow. Awesome. Adults get cookies too. Hey, Santa cookies. G, G, what do you think of your Santa cookie? Hold on. What do you think of it? Is it good? Bug, bug. Do you like your cookie? Yeah, you got a cookie. Awesome. And there we go. <laughs> There's uh, Santa's magical kitchen. <laughs> We've uh, baked our cookies and uh, now we're, we can go and eat them. So uh, Sea Storm is now reopened and defrosted. Fortunately, and Blue Barnacle is open. So, G, where are we going now? Blue Barnacle. Blue Barnacle first, and then a spin on the, on the sea storm, yeah? Fantastic. So, that's the plan. So, we've done Blue Barnacle. Um, slightly longer cycle today, actually, which was quite nice. Um, so, that's now back up and running, and we're currently in the queue for. G, what are we looking for? Storm. One of G's favourites, this one. Um, I can't remember the last time I queued more than five minutes for this, maybe ten. Um, but we're looking at about a, a 20 minute queue time. Monkey Shrew and uh, it's, it's freezing cold here today. Yes. Really, really cold. Um, so much you need to wear 100 layers, three hats. And 24 pairs of, pairs of gloves. There you go, there's your cold weather advice from the G Man. You need to wear 100 layers, three hats, just to keep warm. Um, but it's amazing what we'll uh, put up with in, um, in the name of uh, theme parks and fun. So uh, we'll continue doing some rides. We've got Santa Claus booked at about 3 o'clock, um, which uh, should be great. I'm uh, going to go see the reindeer at the zoo as well, um, which uh, we'll be taking in um, at some point. And uh, yeah, enjoying our day as much as we can and trying to keep warm. Care to comment on recent rumours that there's going to be a reindeer strike over pay and working conditions on the 24th of December? Hello. No comment. I am from Nervous Chat and I just wondered if you'd uh, care to comment about uh, recent rumours of a reindeer strike on the 24th of December over pay and working conditions? No comment.
Dear, oh dear. Look, the zebra's been caned. <laughs> it's nice to see the North, even the North Pole, takes care of the, uh, its visitors seriously. They even have health and safety. So I said to Karen, I think it's snowing outside. She said, no, no, it's just reindeer. So T, last year we came to see Santa, they had people to help us. This year, it's elf service. What does that mean? Wasted. I'll stick to the glue jokes. Here we go, down to Father Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Run to keep up with this elf. I'm a fast elf. <laughs> <laughs> Wait here for me whilst we no on <laughs> I think Gabriel's a bit speechless. He's just found okay, out we're staying in the hotel tonight. I'll see both of you, but you won't see me because you're That's right. Gee. Yeah. So, what, what's happening? Staying in the hotel, Carl. What? Well done for being so good, Gabriel. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Gee, is that good then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Gabriel's very excited about staying in the hotel tonight. He hasn't stopped chattering since the moment Santa told him. But I have to say, that was absolutely fantastic at Chesington. 
to organise for Santa to tell him like that. It was a really nice touch and really, really, really good. So excited, it's actually unreal. He gave me two surprises. One, to go to Chesington, and two, to stay in the hotel. Oh. But my third surprise is which hotel we're going to. You'd have to wait and find out, won't you? I hope it's so far <laughs> So we've seen Santa. I told him I'd been a really good boy. He said he didn't believe me. Um, but uh, he did say he might subscribe to the channel though. So fingers crossed. But he's made promises like that before. Hasn't he, Zoo de Lupus? Um, but I think G is uh, very, very excited. And we're gonna go and claim our gifts now. We've got our golden tickets. You need to ask him what I've just told you. What's what we just told you? She's broke the swimming pool thing! Oh. In the morning! So is that the third surprise? It's the fourth! Oh. <laughs> He's completely lost it. His, his mind's gone. I think it's too many surprises. We can show her your golden ticket. And then look. Got golden ticket as well. We're going to go and take those into the toy maker's hut, um, toy workshop, and uh, pick up our gifts from Santa. Right, into the toy workshop to uh, claim our presents from Santa. Last year they gave away these very cute pe cuddly penguin toys with uh, winter's tail scarves. And uh, yes, they, uh, they, they threw them down the chute, didn't they? I think it was an anti-COVID measure as much as anything else. So there was the minimum amount of uh, contact. But uh, Gabriel obviously remembers and has asked if uh, they'll be doing it again this year. Oh yeah, they are. Here we are in Santa's toy workshop. Wow. It looks like they've uh, they've retained the same process with the, uh, the shoot delivery system. What did you get, G? Oh, a snow leopard! Oh. So this year's toy from Santa was a, a snow leopard with a, a Santa hat and a little winter's tail scarf. Um, it's a very sweet little gift. Um, and uh, yeah, I do think winter's tail here is, uh, is an excellent, excellent event. Like, uh, like so many of the other events here at Chesington. So we're uh, gonna go and catch maybe a few more rides, then make our way over to the hotel to check in, now that the, uh, the secret's out. Um, and uh, I'll catch you later to uh, give you a little bit of a tour of the hotel. So have you had a good day today? Yes. What's been so good about it? So there's been a few surprises today, hasn't there? Yes. <laughs> one after one thing every time. 
first surprise of going to Chesterton. Best surprise of staying at the hotel. Next surprise, which is straight after out of Mummy's mouth, is we're going to the splash park in the morning. And the the word from Daddy's mouth is that we're having food in the restaurant. So that's my go to. That's my favourite bit. So we're happy about all that then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> So we're just going to take a final quick walk through the park um, just to catch some of the Christmas lights. This tree here is the main treetop adventure point. Yeah. Am I vegan? No. <laughs> Vegans don't need anything to do with meat or animals. <clears throat> but I do. I eat both. I eat sausages. Exactly. So I you're not a vegan. vegan. So you're not a vegan then. <laughs> it does. Conversations to have while you're at Chesington. Am I a vegan? Here we go, look. All the beautiful Christmas lights. The snow machine's on, which is brilliant. <clears throat> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Take a look at the five and ten. Glistening once again. Candy canes and silver bells aglow. Where is it? Snow machines are on. Wow. And there's the big lion. Wow. Right, G, second day in the park. Where are we going first? Blue Barnacle. Blue Barnacle? Let's go. Look at that frosty fog. Makes it look very Christmassy, doesn't it? Very, very froggy and frosty. Frosty, frosty, frosty. My lips are so frozen, I can't even say words. <coughs> Come on then, let's go to Blue Barnacle. Um, but yeah, but it really does add to the uh, the wintry, Christmassy feel um, of the park. Um, ride teams have been out since early this morning again, trying to uh, defrost rides and get them up and running. And I believe they've been quite successful this morning, actually. Which means it might be that uh, it wasn't actually as frosty last night. But, uh, I, I don't know. They all look very frosty, but it's the mechanisms inside, isn't it? There's uh, the wild village down there. Still closed. No Gruffalo, no vampire this year. So... But the blue barnacle is up and running with a five minute wait. That's fantastic news. So let's go and uh, let's go and do blue barnacle. A bit frosty, isn't it, Dragon's Fury? Wow, look at that. 
That's pretty iced up. Good morning and welcome to a very frosty Chessington. Um, as you can see, it's very misty and very frosty this morning. We uh, just uh, checked out of the hotel. Uh, great stay last night, actually. Um, restaurant, we, uh, we ate in the uh, Zafari restaurant. Bit of a disaster. Mm. Ended up not actually paying for our meal because the service was really poor, um, which is a shame because the food was actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, um, but I can't fault the manager that dealt with our complaint. Um, he was absolutely on the ball and excellent. So if there was one positive, that was definitely it. Um, hotel room was lovely. Um, a little bit on the hot side. And then when you turn the heating off, it went very cold. So that made, uh, made it a bit difficult to regulate the temperature, but, uh, but overall a very comfortable room and a beautiful hotel. Um, I can't fault the hotel, it's absolutely beautiful, um, very well themed, very well decorated and for Christmas as well the efforts have gone above and beyond and the entertainment for the kids last night was also excellent. Um, Elmo and his shows, they, all, they got all the children engaged and participating which is, what you can, which is all you can ask for really. So that's the hotel done, we're off now for a swim and then back into the park for some more fun on park. So I'll catch you later. So first ride of the day done, Blue Barnacle, always a great little ride that one, love it, love the theme in, just the right level of thrills for the younger ones, um, G-Man absolutely loves it, G you love Blue Barnacle don't you? Yes! <laughs> I definitely, yes. And if ever you needed a commendation for a ride, there you go, there it is. Uh, we're off to Sea Storm next, another, for another icy uh, pirate sea related ride. Uh, Barrel Bailout was meant to be open. I can kind of understand why they might have chosen not to open that, considering, you know, you get wet and it's freezing cold enough as it is here this weekend. So without uh, adding to it the, uh, the factor of getting soaking wet on a ride, I'm not sure it would have uh, been very popular anyway. Um, but yeah, off we go to Sea Storm. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. The Christmas tree here at Adventure Point today looks absolutely magical with the frost. Really, really special. One thing that uh, limited rides and, uh, and the cold has of course done is that uh, make us think of other things here that uh, can be done other than rides which we wouldn't normally think about doing um, so obviously we've come into the arcade come in to have a little go um, and uh, it's quite a nice little arcade in here actually quite a few of the old uh, old school two penny shove machines which is great um, standard arcade sort of games machines and uh, quite a few other little bits and pieces so yeah coming here in the cold has uh, definitely meant we've uh, been able to investigate other options so we've just uh, been in the uh, arcade there and uh, spent a small fortune playing on the machines um, rides are still down unfortunately they're really struggling today in the cold weather um, but uh, the pantomime starts in about at about uh, 12.45 I think it is. So I think we're gonna go around and see the pantomime now. Oh no, we're not. Oh yes, we are. I tried, I tried. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and watch the pantomime and enjoy that. And then I think we're probably gonna head home um, because the rides are very, are really struggling today. But we have, we've had a great time. So uh, let's go and enjoy the pantomime, shall we? Yeah. Let's go. So come round to the main stage now, ready to uh, enjoy the pantomime, the wild panto, which uh, if there's anything like a normal Chesington stage show will be absolutely fantastic. I'm really looking forward to this one um, and I'll bring you some clips as we go along.
before the main panto kicks off, we've got Elmer's Christmas party. So we can't use you as red wine. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't know. It's so... Clara, do you hear that? Yes, I can. But where is it coming from? And who is it? You just have to have the courage to find it. Flora, I wish for Polar Tricks to be able to find her warm and true noble heart. Your wish is my command. What a waste of a Oh, what a lovely looking audience. Oh, I love your plans. Oh, great Christmas hat. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Flora, you've done a wonderful job of decorating Chesson City. Thank you for making it so jolly for us all. Citizens of Chesham City, today we make history as we witness the first wish ever made from true selflessness for another. Todd, we salute you. Chesham City has been without a king since we pioneered this enchanted, wonderful place to live. Therefore, I would like to introduce you to the new king of Chesham City, King Todd the First. Long live the king! <laughs> what a happy ending indeed! One of the tricks is turned good, which means the city is safe and we have a new king! I fall off what's surely true in fairy tales Been for someone else but not for me Love is out to get me That's the way it seems Disappointment I'm 
a little bit from the cold rides are still a little bit patchy but we got a few in and we got we got rides in yesterday as well so uh so we're uh, we're okay with uh, leaving a bit early and uh, getting home and getting warm but we've had an absolute blast here at Chesterton today so that's it that's the end of our weekend here at uh, Chesington's Winter's Tale um, we came last year and had a great time it was a brilliant brilliant event and that's why we came back this year. And if they'd have given us the same this year as we had last year, I'd have been as happy, if not happier. 
Instead, we've come and actually they've stepped it up yet another level. Um, the decorating was better, it was amazing. The carol singers, the song selection, the sets have been absolutely fantastic. The shows, the panto, just another level. Santa's Grotto and the toy workshop, just beautiful, absolutely amazing. And we've had a fantastic time. Obviously, the main reason we came was to surprise this little guy down here. Have you had a great weekend? <laughs> and that's what it's all about, isn't it, guys? Christmas is for the kids. And we've had a fantastic Christmas event at Winter's Tale. And uh, we couldn't be happier. So we're going to go home now and get warm because it's pretty chilly here. And uh, we'll catch you in a vlog soon. Are you going to say bye, G-Man? Bye.